All right, it's September 16th, and that means, well, I'm going to tell you that Clerks 3 is awesome. I made it out, I put on my mask, I sat in a theater, and then I, like, passed out within, like, an hour of getting home uh, to watch Clerks 3, because it was just nice to get out of this apartment for a little bit. This fatigue is still fucking draining me, but it's awesome. Highly recommend. Emotionally, I did not expect it to hit. And I know there was something else that kind of, well, came to people's attention. And I know you're used to this hairdo, but then someone was complimenting me on my naturally wavy hair, and um, I wonder if people want me to go back to that. I mean, what, 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 what's that? Go, 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 go. We don't need any embarrassing photos. I got enough embarrassing photos out there, don't I? Are they embarrassing? I don't know. But regardless, that's what my hair looks like naturally when I don't do what you might identify my hair with. Maybe we can weigh going back to the natural. Maybe we can go back to the... Or keep going with this. Eh, a little cheaper on product, let me tell you. Regardless, I've got some shows to tell you about. So let's safely go. Yes, welcome to another episode of Every Show Joe Says Safely Go, where I always recommend masking up whether you're vaccinated or not, because you don't want to go through the last two and a half months of what I've been going through with long COVID. Please mask up. Let's make these spaces just good and comfortable for all our friends, whether you're immunocompromised or not. By just everyone, a room full of masks will lower the spread of this virus, and it's still going around. Trust me. I'm just one who has had it and had it leave its footprint for the last two and a half months. That is still ongoing. Uh, so please, please, please mask up. And if you're not vaccinated, please get vaccinated. We have the new boosters with that account for the Omicron. So you can get scheduled for that and try to avoid or have hopefully less than what I'm experiencing, which apparently mine is still the mild symptoms. So I don't even want to know what I would be going through if I wasn't vaccinated. Um, so please, 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 that's my plea, and please wear a mask if you're going to head out to shows. It helps for both the people around you and also the artists, the touring artists who are having to postpone and cancel, and it's affecting their ability to just play for you. So lower their risk by wearing a mask out to these shows. That's my plea. Of course, if you are not shaking your fist at me because of something you're upset about what I just said in the last minute, please be sure to like wherever you're watching this, whether it's Instagram, which has been fighting me, sometimes letting me upload these, and sometimes not directly to it, uh, Facebook, YouTube, all that kind of stuff. And if you're watching YouTube, please be sure to subscribe because first off, you get notifications when these go live, and, well... I get a little access to more features as those numbers go up. Maybe one day add revenue and you can see like a six second, five second video and hit skip. And then I make like a quarter of a penny and it's like so awesome, right? It's still something. <laughs> so it helps me out. But regardless, I don't get that. And you can support by going to patreon.com forward slash every show, Joe. Let's try to make this a little more self-sufficient if I can one day. Uh, help with the web hosting. Help with the gas to get the shows when I actually am up for it again health-wise. And also helps to even cover some of the ticket costs. That helps me out, and I appreciate it. Anything you can do, uh, patreon.com forward slash every show, Joe. Dollar a month even helps me out. Five dollars a month, that's like buying me a beer a month or soda or whatever. Uh, but yeah, so there's... there's Different prices if you can spare it. Um, of course, also, you can head over to everyshowjo.com. Speaking of what you'd be covering for help covering for hosting your beer, uh, that's where I post up some of my awesome photos, some of my awesome write ups. Uh, you can check out stuff like the uh, Marla and Jason's 25th anniversary show that they had at the trunk space, which had Wallace Hound, it had Spicy Mayo, and it had this band called Yay Bobby and Ape Home, which who they are, I have no idea, but they were awesome. And you can go to the website and find out who they are. Or at least guess. You might you might you might get it. Um, but also, yeah, there's some awesome stuff there. There's also Less than Jake, Bowling for Soup, Dollskin, uh, Cliff Diver, that show's on there, Frank Turner, uh, Cheek Face, like there's a bunch of awesome stuff you can go check out and for free. But one more plug though, in that menu are there is a store link and you can pick up an every show Joe shirt. So of course I'm gonna throw that out there and support me because then if you wear it around people might actually look up who I am and that helps me out and also it gives me a little money from it and I appreciate that too so if you can there's also that of course every week I like to throw out there fuck racism fuck homophobia fuck transphobia fuck sexism fuck all the bullshit that dehumanizes one another there is no reason 
we should be doing this and creating this inequality based on stupid shit like this when it comes to wages, like complete brutality, all this bullshit, it, there is an improportionate way in discrimination and we need to work to fucking change the system and stop this shit. Uh, so I like to throw out stuff to support and any kind of positive impact you bring. Find, if these aren't your suiting, find something else that you're like, this sounds really cool and go do it. Any little positive impact, just bring something positive to the world and it'll, it'll go a long way, trust me. Um, let's start, though, with the things I like throughout here is Black Lives Matter, BLM, PHX, Metro.org. That's the Phoenix one. You can, if you're not from Phoenix, go check out your local one. You can see what they're organizing, get involved. Uh, Poder in Action is another really good one to get involved with for that. Uh, PoderInAction.org is their website. You can get that. Stop AAPI hate.org, uh, First Nations.org, those are indig indigenous Native Americans, our Asian Americans, all that stuff, ways to get involved. And all these take donations too. So if you're just looking to donate and help that way, you can too. Uh, I like to throw out there the National Center for Transgender Equality. They're fighting from jobs to legislation to everything, trying to make a better country where it shouldn't fucking matter. You shouldn't, you're protected. For one is what they're fighting for, but it really shouldn't fucking matter who you what you identify as, who you love, all that bullshit that some people like to discriminate for no reason at all. Well, they feel it's a reason, but it's fucking bullshit. That's that's the key word of this conversation, right? Uh, regardless, definitely go support transequality.org for that. Uh, there's also the Sidewalk Project like throughout there. The Sidewalkproject.org is their website. They have a Phoenix section. They get involved in their local punk scene, which is cool. Help the homeless uh, against self-harm, all that kind of stuff. They're helping out there. Also, of course, Punk Rock Saves Lives. They're them out there, too. They're also helping. They're involved with the music scene. You might have seen them out at, like, the Bowling for Soup, Listen to Jake Show, that kind of stuff. They're all around helping out, getting you on the Bone Barrel donation list. The Also, just helping Positive Mental Attitudes, PMAs, which goes a long way. Trust me, as someone who's been going through a long COVID, this song, it definitely helps to try to keep your head up. Uh, so, definitely encouraging, and they help. If you, they even have groups that you can go join, and they will help talk to you. And yeah, just go check out Punk Rock Save Lives. Let's throw that out there. Uh, of course, also there are things to throw out there because here in Arizona, we're using a a law from when we were a territory to talk about reproductive rights. So right away, something's wrong with that. Um, and yeah, it it shouldn't matter. Your reproductive rights should be your choice. And well. That's why I like to throw out there the Abortion Fund of Arizona. Abortionfundofaz.org is their website. You can go donate there. Uh, and, well, good news is the Ukrainians have said they've gained back all the territory that was taken from them. Regardless, they can still use your help. Projecthope.org is another one there I throw out. So, yeah, a lot of ways to get involved. These are things I suggest, at least. Of course, go find your awesome thing and just bring some positivity to the world. That's the best thing we can do for one another. Um, of course, still a music show, and you're like, well, how can I support that favorite band or musician? I was just like, hmm, let's think about this. Thinking, thinking. Oh, I know. You can go support your favorite bands by just buying their merch. Go buy the shirts. Go buy the CDs. Go go on their band camp. Buy whatever they have on there. Go buy their neckerchiefs or whatever necklaces, uh, koozies, any of that kind of stuff. That's the simplest, easy way, especially as they are still dealing with the financial issues of if they have to cancel or postpone or replace a member or even put them up in a hotel to quarantine if they have tested positive for COVID on these tours. It's still happening. It's still disrupting things, unfortunately. Even seeing some European tours being canceled due to health concerns right now. So, yeah. Please, please, please. <laughs> you can go buy their merch and simplest, easiest way to support. Of course... Neva is another thing I like. They're out there. Neva SSOC.org. That's a national independent venue association. They even have a fund set up that helps them with lobbying for your favorite uh, independent venues' interests. And also, they have a charity. Or, what was it? Just as foundation in my notes here. But they have a donation that helps with the emergency fund for your favorite venues. Should they need help to cover rent, they try to step in and help them with that money too. So Neva is another way to support. Of course, the other simple, easiest way is just go support your favorite venues and your favorite artists if they are able to play. And be safe about it. Like I said, please mask up if you're going to go out to any of these. Um, of course, let's start tonight, Friday, the 16th. All times are Arizona times, which are Mountain Standard times because we don't do daylight savings times. 
right? Uh, which means we're equal with Pacific Daylight Time right now, uh, just to not confuse you at all. So hopefully all these times are correct. Of course, some awesome stuff, though, including tonight, the awesome album release show for that awesome album that Black Mountain Moonshine finally put out here. And it's going to feature Square, TV Tragedy, unfortunately, had to drop off, and Square just filled in that spot. Plus, Reason Around, still on the bill, shame hole there at the Echo Tap Room. 8 p.m. start for that. We also got Kyle Smith with the Conveyors, with the Haley Green Band, and Desert Fish at Last Exit Live. That one is 8 p.m. Red, not Chili Peppers. Uh, they're playing with Killing Sunday, The Remedy, The Damned Kids, and Luxia at the Marquee Theater. That one is a 6 p.m. early start. Uh, we got MF Gloom, Lawson, and Faded Lady at the Lost Leaf, which Faded Lady, I need, been wanting to go catch out. There's some awesome people in that band, and just awesome shows. Go check them out at the Lost Leaf, 8 p.m. We got Louie on tour. This one you may not have noticed on last week's list because I picked it up, unfortunately, after, and just noticed it when I was putting together tonight's list. So definitely go check them out, though. Uh, with Sp- Spilt, Gusher, Insomniacs, Kimothy G, and the Vinyl Faces at the Nile Underground. This one, a 6 p.m. start with some names that I think I pronounced correctly. And sorry if I didn't. Um, also, we've got Mastagram, The Dead Writers, Better on the Inside Down in Tucson at the Groundworks. Masks are required indoors there, and they ask for proof of X or negative test if you're going to go there. Also, they're out there. We got the Viper Club playing with Veers, Gone Before Us, and Dusty Rig or Rug at the Hive up in Flagstaff, 7 p.m. Which, yeah, that means the Hive is back and open, or at least there's, I think there's two shows on there right now, so they're starting to do some stuff again in Flag. Uh, plus, also, they're out there. Robbie Pfeiffer of Playboy Man Babies doing his Pump Up the Jams night at Gracie Tax Bar if you're looking for some other fun. 10 p.m. there. And a stream for you. Well, not not the usual stream. There's another one uh, that I always throw out there. We got Mom Jeans with their Sweet Tooth Tour live from Irving Plaza. They're doing that stream over on momjeans.veeps.com, 6.30 p.m. And it's on demand, so if, even if you're watching this and you're like, shit, I missed it, you can go on there, pay for it, and watch it at your leisure. Uh, plus, yeah, Scott Cloth signed. One of the nicest, awesome people you can meet. Uh, you might know him from the Lewis Man Band. You might know him from Real Big Fish. You might know him from his solo stuff. Regardless, he has an awesome stream he does a couple times a week. And, yeah, 9 p.m., you can tune in him. And usually G. Scott, sometimes Chris Grau, who was in that awesome movie soundtrack of Clerks 3 with Mega Ran and some others. It was awesome. Regardless, keep throwing it out there. Uh, but he might be also helping out. So twitch.tv slash Scott Klopf sign. Find out who's there. G. Scott or Chris Grau with Scott Klopf and sign on their Twitch. Then Saturday we got some awesome, awesome, awesome that's the keyword of the day, right? Uh, we got the Expats with Spiritual Warfare and the Greasy Shadows, which is one whole band name. Uh, plus the Grand Fricks over at the Valley Bar. 6.30pm That is a guaranteed banger. Boom. We put it there. I should put like an asterisk on this list. Um, <laughs> speaking of other guaranteed bangers, we got so happy they're playing with Through the Wire, Stim Shits, and Eric Anarchy at the trunk space. And remember, masks are asked that you wear indoors at the trunk space. Uh, 7.30 p.m. for that one. We also got Nito playing an acoustic show. Gasp. Um, <laughs> that's at Divided Wine Bar. Divided Vine beer and wine bar at 7 to 10 p.m. there. Uh, I realize I swapped two letters. That's funny. Uh, anyways, this is why being tired all the time sometimes creates some of the weirdest things in my notes. Check them out, Nito, playing acoustic there. Uh, we also got the Psycho Square Dance with Amazing Exploding at the Fa Cow 8 p.m. Uh, going down the list, we got Alibi with Death Pop, the Joey's, which, all right, there you go. You have your reason. Go, go, go catch the Joey's. Uh, and also practically people there at the Alibi House, 7.30 p.m. Uh, oh, and then we got a Rare Americans. This one was the one that I just was like, oh, fuck it, let's go check out what this sounds like. And I like it. So I threw it on the list. Uh, they're playing with Dylan at the Crescent Ballroom, 8 p.m. Plus we got Jenny Don't in the Spurs with Hank Topless and the Dead Horseman and just Bray Burns. There's no, the other two have ends in their names, and I was just like, we can add to that. I don't know what, though. Uh, but they're all playing at the Dirty Drummer, 8 p.m. Also... Looking for ways to go around the state again? Well, and for the weekend. We got American Standards with Abora and Gutter Town at the Hitching Post down in Bisbee, 8 p.m. Just a little bit of jump from there. We've got Annie Jump uh, Cannon with Diva Bleach and Nika at the Club Congress down in Tucson, 7 p.m. And if you're looking for a reason to go north again, well, we got the Illegal Aliens, Narwhal, Vacant Skies, and Locked Down uh, at Yucca North there up in Flagstaff, 7 p.m. 
Plus, every morning I wake up with one of the happiest, friendliest people in music, in punk rock. That's Cappy Gooley. Go check out the Cappy Show over on his Facebook, streaming 9 a.m. And usually randomly throughout the week, just give him a follow and find out. And just see when they pop up. Uh, then we roll into Sunday, and we got an awesome band coming through that the last time I caught him was in the same venue, actually. Houston and Dirty Rats, they're really, really good. Go check them out. We're standing at the back, tackless at Time Out Lounge, 8 p.m. for that. Got another single release here. Got Aura May doing their single release with Blue Joy, uh, One Way Sky, and Wallace Hound at the Rebel Lounge. 7.30, ooh, excuse me, p.m. for that one. New music, I mean. Not, but there's a lot of new music. I got another one for you. Uh, we going down the list, though. I know a lot of people want Gaslight Anthem. Well, they're going to be playing at the Marquee Theater, 7 p.m. It didn't show any support. I tried clicking through there, but I didn't see anyone else on it. So it might just be Gaslight Anthem for like two hours, which I'm sure for some of you that's like, What? Oh, sign me up. So, yeah, let you know that. Also got Buy Me Bambi doing their music show on their Twitch, twitch.tv slash Buy Me Bambi, 2 p.m. now on Sundays. Then we roll into Monday, and we got the Toadies and Reverend Horton Heat, the rescheduled tour with Draculas. They're here, finally. It's going to be at the Marquee Theater. They are requiring proof of acts or negative tests for that one. 7.30 p.m. for that. Uh, we also got Vintage Clothes with Hotel Pink, Alibi, and Valley Orange at the Rebel Lounge. 7.30 p.m. We got Dragged Under the Rivals, Aria, Grasslands, and yes, those awesome dudes from Flagstaff, Winter Haven. They're at the Nile Underground, 6 p.m. for that. Uh, we got Open Mic Night, hosted by Haley Green, the one and only. And, well, this one has a special guest, though. Faye, you might know him from A Girl in a Coma, at least a couple of their members. Uh, they're going to be playing the Yucatap Room, 9 p.m. with the Open Mic. That's always there on Mondays when there's not a show, so go check that. And then Tuesday, the Kaiju's back in town. The band that I've seen, well, I've seen video of. Uh, they always the overlap is horrible trying to choose, but they're totally on my radar now. They like to like set the top of their van on fire and play on it while there's fire. It's awesome, right? Uh, but yeah, check them out. Dekaiju with Snail Me, with Sick in the Head, with Standing at the Back over Rips Bar, 8 p.m. Uh, we also got Chris Murray, always does Blue Beat live streams on his Facebook, 5 p.m. Another just wonderful person playing music. Uh, also, Scott Klopstein's other stream of the week, twitch.tv slash Scott Klopstein, uh, 9 p.m. By Me has got their music show right in the morning, 8 a.m. So you wake up with some awesome music and put in some requests and enjoy some uh wednesday rolling in though we got the mfa the gfi and then we kind of ran out of acronyms i guess abbreviations uh but we got burgundy jerk on there and pop icons at the akatap room 8 p.m uh dead poets signed with broken love or Bro brooklyn love it could be brooklyn i think it's broken brkn love uh and foreign bodies at the rebel lounge 7 p.m we got igor and the red elvis who are just like a local there here so often they're at the rhythm room 8 p.m the recording artist this week is with Sophie Dorston. That's over on therecordingartist.com, 7 p.m. You can pay for that there or catch it on Amazon Prime after. Uh, plus, By Me Baby has got their other music show, 5.30 p.m. on their Twitch on Wednesdays. Thursday rolling in, we got the Dirty Licks with Until the Sun. Cheeseburger Picnic at the Rhythm Room, 8 p.m. And Trance with Space Vacation Loser for and Satavan. Satavan? Satavan? Stevan, I'm betting. Uh, anyways, regardless, they're at the Rebel Lounge, 8 p.m. Plus, the Wayback Sessions are back for a new season, and it's with Birds and Arrows over on their YouTube channel, youtube.com slash the Wayback Sessions. Yes, they now finally have it. Uh, 7 p.m., you go tune in for that. And then Friday rolling in, and yes, this is the other awesome new music. Trouble Minds got their album release celebration for Disconnect, and it's their tour kickoff, too, simultaneously. Uh, that's with No Lungs. That's with Bethany Home. That's with Jem. Uh, at the Nile Underground, guaranteed banger. <laughs> we'll put that out there every week, right? Oh, God. I don't know if we're going to make that a trend. Wall of Sound, speaking of more bangers. Wall of Sound, the maybe next year's Bite the Hand, uh, Silk Stockings, and Dirt Skirt at the Yucca Tap Room. That one is 8 p.m. Uh, we also got Jacqueline Rowe, the Sh Sure Sun, TV's Messages, and Smooth Hands at the Trunk Space. Masks required indoors there if you're going to the Trunk Space. 7.30 p.m. Guaranteed banger. I'll just keep doing <laughs> We'll see. We'll see if I want to keep doing that every week. Uh, we got also After Nations with the Woodworks, with the Psychid Elephants over at the Unity 3 community. 8 p.m. Yes, guaranteed banger. <laughs> um... You got AZ's alt scene. I assume this is all like solo acoustic kind of stuff. Uh, we got Mega Flower, we got Chad Cowell, we got the Vegas, Trevor Blinn, and Bryant Powell of L West uh, over at the Rebel Lounge. 7.30 p.m. for that one. 
Uh, Hearts on Fire Fest, that one's happening. That's with All American Rejects, Boys Like Girls, um, Made A Parade, Send It Off, and The Cray over at Phoenix Raceway. So hydrate, but 6.30 p.m., so hopefully it'll be sundown and you can not melt out there. Uh, plus, we got Electro at the Palo Verde featuring Feral featuring a favorite shucks famina famicom sorry uh and bicycle jesus at the Palo Verde at 10 p.m uh plus if you're looking for you know excuses to go out of town again well fat gray cack jjcnv james brown brown band and they're over at the hotel monte v up in flagstaff this night set 9 30 p.m for that uh and down in tucson we've got one for you we've got shadowgraphs golden boot coffin hotbox and grand voodoo band at the ground Rex down in tucson which the Groundworks does ask you wear masks inside and also proof of X negative test required for them 7 p.m. Plus, yeah, Friday nights me and Scott Coffstein go tune in for one of my favorite people in music, in ska, in whatever indie rock you want to call it. But Scott Coffstein's awesome because go tune in to his Twitch if you're hanging out looking for some music at home to catch. Of course, these are tuned to my taste and other random ones that if I have the time I'll try to listen to and go, hmm, goes on a list. So, yeah, check them out course your tastes will vary because that's what makes us awesome at humans we have such a variety of tastes so be sure to just go enjoy it go support your favorite musicians please mask if you're going to be there but have fun while you're out there too of course and um i think that's all i got um yeah hang on. anything that i find or maybe pops up will show up on the list on every show.com because i post this over there and also on the facebook so you can see the text versions for easy reading and finding stuff, too. Um, but until next week, have fun. Be safe out there. Please ask. And just see you next week.